So like many people, my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and I, we watched the new Ted Bundy film starring Zac Efron called Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Vile, something like that, all right? But as I was watching it, I started thinking of the show Dexter. I know a lot of you were, were fans of that show as well. And what I wanted to talk about is comparing these two and kind of talk about the idea of serial killers being addicted to killing. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, movies, TV shows, or just society in general and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And in case you didn't know, I'm also all up on social media. Make sure you're following me at The Rewired Soul over on Instagram, Twitter, because I love, I love engaging with all of your beautiful faces. Is. All right, so I just uh, finished a book, all right, and it was called The Wisdom of Psychopaths. I mentioned it in a video the other day. I know some of you picked it up. It's a great book. Great, 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 great book. But anyways, to start this video, I want to discuss, like, where does our fascination with serial killers come from? Like, that's something that, like, you know, I, I've been fascinated with since, you know, I was younger, as well as cults. And I think a lot of us are like, why? Maybe? I don't know. But I know I do. I'm like, why is this something that's interesting? But anyways, in that book, The Wisdom of Psychopaths, I'll link it again down in the description if you want to check it out. One possible explanation for this is when it comes to psychopaths and serial killers, part of our fascination might be how seamless they walk among us, right? Like when you look at Ted Bundy or you look at the fictional character Dexter, like these were just normal people, seemingly normal normal people, and they were just around us. And I, I believe that, or even what the book discuss is, part of our survival instinct is that we wanna like know the enemy. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of weird or creepy that these people are just everyday people, maybe not what we expect them to look like or who we expect them to be. And by learning and understanding these types of people, maybe we can better protect ourselves. But anyways, I have some other possible Ted Bundy film, uh, not films, uh, but videos planned out because there are some different topics that the book I just read definitely brought up. But anyways, so I was, I was watching this movie with uh, Tristan and this, this idea for this video kind of came up when Ted Bundy escapes from prison and then he goes on the killing spree, um, the Kai Omega murders, all right? And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, I'm like, this dude, this dude, this is the second time he's gotten out of prison and he, he screws it up by going to murder a bunch of young women, right? Like, why couldn't he control this? Why didn't he go back home? Why didn't he go to Canada? Why didn't he go to Mexico? Why, 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 right? And then the topic of addiction came up, right? And this is something that Dexter throughout the series struggled with as well, like this insatiable urge to kill. So, by the way, I'm not like some licensed therapist or psychologist, but I am somebody who struggled with addiction for almost a decade. Not addiction to killing, addiction to drugs and alcohol. I've been sober for almost seven years. It'll be seven years next month. And I also worked at a drug and addiction, uh, drug addiction treatment center for a little over three years. So when I look at this, addiction can be kind of like sum, summed up as continuously doing some kind of action despite negative consequences. So whether it's drugs, alcohol, food, sex, shopping, you know, spending money, whatever it is, right? It is continually doing something knowing that there's gonna be negative consequences, right? Like when it comes to drugs and alcohol, say for example, an alcoholic, right? They know that they have to be to work in the morning or they have a presentation in the morning or they have school in the morning or they have a family function or even like going to a kid's game or whatever. They know that they have some kind of responsibility or they know that this is going to cause a problem in their life, but they still drink or use anyways. So I look at this and I look at the struggles that Dexter had throughout that series or even Ted Bundy and it's just like, huh, are these guys actually addicted to killing? So when it comes to Dexter, one of the reasons I think a lot of us 
rooted for Dexter was because he had that kind of, that code, right? That his his father taught him. So Dexter, he he had his dark passenger, you know? And I think that's another reason why I, I enjoyed that show was because in addiction, we kind of separate ourselves from the actual disease and like that kind of helps, it kind of helps it realize that, you know, we are not our addiction. And same thing with any mental health issue. You are not your mental health issues. You are not your depression. You are not your anxiety. You're not this, right? But anyways, Dexter, when he got that urge, he killed bad people, right? But throughout Dexter, and one of the reasons it was an interesting show, aside from it just being phenomenally written and all of that stuff, but when he had to fulfill that urge, it was, it was, pretty much bad people, right? But when we look at Ted Bundy, he had this urge and he was killing young, innocent women, right? So this is something that we can all kind of learn from with our own addictions and our own vices and ask ourselves like, why Why do we need to, to fulfill this urge? You know what I mean? And Ted Bundy reminds me a lot of an addict because he lied, he manipulated, he, he could be very sweet, charming, things like that to get what he wanted, right? He could even be, you know, very, uh, uh, um, not empathetic isn't the right word, but he understood other people's emotions, which is actually a common trait of psychopaths. In that book that I just mentioned, psychopaths are actually better at spotting vulnerable people. Like they did a bunch of scientific studies on this, right? But Ted Bundy knew who to target. So addicts in the real world, they know who to look for. Who's more likely to give them money? Who's more likely to be codependent? Who is more likely to enable their behaviors? You know what I mean? So that's something that Ted Bundy kind of did throughout his, his killing spree, right? And then it makes me wonder about Dexter too. These traits of an addict he had and the people in his life who had no idea. There were some people who had some suspicions about it, but just kind of how they blended in and everything like that. But anyways, anyways, like I would love to know your thoughts on this topic. Like what are your thoughts around addiction and the serial killers and how they cannot, you know, uh, hold back their urges to to do this like you know if you look at other serial killers in the past like sometimes they go a long time without killing and then they they do it again like what do you think that is all right but anyways if you if you would like me to do more ted bundy videos let me know down in the comments below i would love to hear your thoughts your topics anything like that i have a few i have a few brewing up inside my head as well all right but anyways that's all i got for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because i make a ton of videos and a huge huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you are all amazing and if you would like to help support the channel get access to our monthly Q&A, some of the perks, the benefits, you can click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. All right. Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.